Um, my sense is that they're not providing the appropriate oversight of intercollegiate athletics. Even though intercollegiate athletics is one of the biggest reputational risks we have. Just think over the last three or four years, the number of institutions we all know who've been cited on all, in the newspapers on the front page of sports and many times on the front page. And I think it does start with the board and the president. Quite honestly, I, I wish there was a law that said, if the president gets fired, so does the board. <laughs> not just the president, because if the president winds up losing his or her job or being chastised for it, I suspect the board is culpable. And I think boards have to take much more seriously what it means to provide oversight and set the tone fr from the top with the president. And then it goes to there to the athletic director. So I, I think board governance right now in the United Sp States, especially at public institutions in many cases, mm -hmm but even at private, we have a lot of people on the board who are cheerleaders for athletics, mm -hmm. who don't want to get into the thorny issues of athletics because they like it, they love it, they're mm -hmm. donors to it, they go to the games. And many times uh, I think they do not fulfill their responsibility to the institution. So despite the fact that AGB and others always write these guidelines about what boards are doing, I'd love to know how much boards are really doing and how they're providing that oversight and creating the tone for the top. And that's where I would start, there in the president's office. You know, if I